Hey guys, sorry I can't be there today, workflow, but I want to give you a quick little message of encouragement to come off a loss from the other night and get a big win, uh, region win tonight. Uh, topic today is the idea of finishing the drill. If you've been around sports, this used to be a thing for the University of Georgia. A lot of different schools use this theme of finish the drill. And really, uh, we think about this passage that comes from 1 Corinthians 9, verse 24 through 27. It says this, Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. So there's a story that goes back uh, when Bobby Dodd was the coach for Georgia Tech. Uh, they were beating Alabama, so you know this was a while ago, and they were only up by five points with a few seconds left in the game. And Coach Dodd uh, asked, excuse me, Coach Dodd asked his quarterback to just go out there and take a knee, and that would run the clock out. The game would be over. They'd have a win. Well, the quarterback goes out there, calls an audible and drops back to pass the ball. It just so happens he throws it and intercepts it, and it gets intercepted by one of Alabama's fastest defensive backs. And somehow, the quarterback, who was slow, he was not some fast guy, he was slow, catches the defensive back before he gets a pick six, stops him, they still win the game. And so afterward, uh, the coach was asked, how did your slow quarterback catch one of the fastest defensive backs in the country, definitely the fastest for Alabama's team. And Coach Dodd said the, uh, the defensive back was running for a touchdown. The quarterback was running for his life. So oftentimes our perspective and attitude uh, of life will determine if we finish the drill. It's all about perspective and it's all about attitude. Um, and now it's become kind of the, uh, the exception rather uh, than the norm to see people who are actually willing to finish the drill. Most people quit. Most people don't see things through. If we're going to finish the drill this season, these are some things I thought of. First, we've got to realize the following. Get over yourself if you haven't already. And automatically, you know who I'm talking to. If you're someone who's a ball hawk, if you're someone who has got to be about you, you've got to get over yourself. It's not too late to change. Your teammates need you to do this. Okay, you got to think big team, little me. Big team, little me. It's things we've talked about all throughout the season. Just a friendly reminder. The second is this. Every choice matters. Every choice you make matters. It comes down to effort and attitude. You know, you think if you slack in the first half, oh, well, we can make up from the second half. Maybe not. That's not guaranteed. It's all about what kind of effort you're putting forth consistently and what kind of attitude are you having, you know? Are you going to let bad calls by the referees make you lose the game before it's even over? Or are you going to let things like that be the things that shift your defeat, uh, shift your mindset, and already you're walking in the mindset uh, in, of defeat instead of we've got this, we can win this, optimistic. Every choice you make that matters. It will play into uh, the game later on. So think about that. And then lastly, the idea of the season is kind of like a long distance run. Uh, you know, you've played many games over many months. And if you think about it, we've all seen people who, who start out strong but finish poorly. And to, uh, today and tonight, uh, you guys need to rally around and say, hey, we're going to commit to finishing strong. We're going to commit to finishing with great effort. And so here's just three questions you can ask yourself uh, to get ready for tonight. One, are you on track to finish the drill? Are you on track to finish the drill? Seniors, you guys probably have the best gauge of this. So you need to ask yourselves, are we on track to finish the drill? Second, is your focus on the next game or on other things with no value? Are you so worried about the playoffs that you can't even focus on tonight in a single game, a region game at that. You know, are you focused on things that have no value? You know, is your head off somewhere else? You know, did your, uh, you know, for some of you guys, man, maybe you have girlfriends who are just a bunch of trouble, okay? <laughs> are you letting them distract you from something more important? Just think about it. And lastly, are you slowing down or gaining speed to finish strong? Are you slowing down or gaining speed to finish strong. Three questions, guys. Are you on track to finish the drill? Uh, where's your focus? And are you slowing down or speeding up to finish strong? Look, guys, I'm proud of you. You guys have done great this season. I've really grown, especially since the summer when we all started out together. And I just want to encourage you with that. Uh, and, and I believe tonight you can go out and get a win. Uh, but, guys, 
Play your best ball now. Play with the best effort now. Don't try to match effort from games of the past. Raise the bar tonight. Start to gain that momentum. I know you can do it. So with that, guys, I look forward to seeing you next week. Go out and get that win.